Hello friends, welcome to Atomic SMS Service. We are here to announce the latest addition to our online bulk SMS service known as Automate. It has been designed for the ease of automatic messaging or texting. Now sending SMS via Automate will make the process much more swift and smooth. This tutorial video is to display the use of new feature. But before I explain the use, let me give a brief idea on why you need it. You can use it on daily basis, for example commercial purposes. If you run your own business or store, you or your staff can promote your business by sending special birthday or anniversary vouchers to customers. And if you run a maintenance facility for cars or bikes, you may send a reminder to your customers regarding upcoming oil change date. On the other hand, for personal or individual use, you may apply it to send warm greetings to your loved ones. Moreover, you may use it to set reminders for yourself regarding the upcoming family events or functions, official meetings, medical appointments and so on. If you are married, you can use Automate to remind you of your wife's birthday or your marriage anniversary. In order to do so, you just need to follow a few simple steps. Now let me show you how to use Automate. Enter your members area, click on SMS sender. After that, click on address books. Choose the desired list. In order to work with Automate, you need to create a date variable. To do so, click on create variable, enter the variable name date, enter variable type date, click OK. You will notice there will be a date column added to the list here. So here you, are, you can add the variable value. Uh, in our case, let's say the event is happy birthday event, somebody in family or let's say happy birthday of, of Atom Park. So I want to invite friends from different different countries. Let's say from India. Now the birthday is in November and I want to invite and make sure that my friend gets visa on time. So I'll invite him. I want to send him the reminder on 31st and the birthday is on 30th of November. So click OK. Um, a local friend. We can make it much more closer. Let's say a week. And a friend from Canada. Uh, let's say in the beginning of uh, or somewhere in the middle of the month. Click OK. Now out of six I have chosen three particular numbers and they have different different dates. So these are the variables or the conditions that I'm creating here. After you have added the value click on automate. Here you need to click on create new automated series. Now you have to enter the series name. In our case, it's happy birthday event. Happy birthday Atom Park. Send a name. Atom Park. If you have a template, you can use a template or type a SMS just the way you used to in the uh, send SMS now. Uh, the difference comes when you set the sending condition. Here you choose the variable with, you can see the variable date and the address with my context. You click on that. Now the time is something which the local recipients will receive as per their local time. So whatever time you choose, so the, the person in India will receive at the same time, for example, uh, 2 o'clock or 1400 in the daytime. So the, the, the friend in India will receive as per the time in India. The one in Canada will receive as per time in Canada and the one in UK or Ukraine will receive as per time in Ukraine. The condition here when it says on that day it means the date which you have chosen in the variable or while you were setting up the variable in the contact list. If you change it to before for some reason you have shift the event either forward or you want to uh, help or you want to hold the event earlier so you can you can send according to that you can send the message earlier or later so if you choose before you can specify how many days before you want to change from the day from the initial date which you have chosen or if you want to send it after the number of days you can choose that as well or you can keep it the same day now the days for sending is from Monday till Sunday for commercial purposes we usually send from Monday to Friday but it's a event so we can send as a personal request and we'll, keep, we'll include Saturday and Sunday as well. You can untick the box if you don't want to send on those days. In our case, we'll take them. At the end, you can save the changes. 
once the changes are saved you can check the name of the event the address book which one you have used the one you have used and the, the date and the time when you created this uh, um, CDs the sender name the text the preferred time and day and the status and the total price which will appear here so after you have done this you can either edit it by clicking on edit If I think you want to change something, let's say I want to change the time from 14, I want to change it to 13. Save changes. So the change will be saved and you will see the new time will be will appear here. You can start launching. You can launch it right by clicking on start or if you're unhappy with it, you want to just recreate it or want you don't need it, you can delete the autoresponder. Or you can just go back to the, the main page of automation and here you can find it in the series so you can either send it from here or you can delete it or you can uh, send it right from here by looking at the options given in the setting so that's how you create the task and it's really easy it will help you to send it to um, you know to all your people without without having to create a new address book every time and you will be able to use the existing address book and you can select the number of people you want to send it to and it will just make it easier. You can include your number to get reminders on your own phone. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like and comment below. We would love to get your feedback. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.